Hi, good morning. It's John Bice with eXp Real Estate and the Florida for Boomers Network here in absolutely beautiful Sarasota, Florida. Hey, it's um, 69 degrees here right now. It's February. Pretty amazing. It's going to be about 72 today and in the 50s tonight. We have this for about six months of the year. It's pretty outstanding. So today we're going to talk about setting your expectations for you and what to expect here, because I'm getting a lot of people that are not doing research before they come here and going, oh, oh, this is amazing. This isn't what we expected. We heard the traffic was terrible. We heard. So I want to set some expectations for you, for yourself and to help me help you. But hey, if you found us here on YouTube, we market to baby boomers pretty exclusively, but um, I also work with a lot of first time home buyers with families moving here. So uh, we would love to talk to you and um, help you find your place here in um, the Sarasota, Florida area. I call it paradise. Some people call it the Sun Coast. Some people call it the Gulf Coast. But um, if you don't know exactly where we are, we're about an hour to the south of Tampa. Uh, we're about an hour to the north of Fort Myers. So we're right in that pocket right there. Uh, just an amazing location with beautiful beaches. So if you found us here, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And two to three times a week, I put out in information about our area, about living here, things to expect, the truth about things like taxes and traffic and hurricanes. And is there an alligator in that lake back there? Uh, the truth about it. Okay. Lived in Florida, born and raised here. I've lived here all but probably seven years of my life. So um, long time. So anyway, setting your expectations. It's very important for me to know and for you to know when you come down here looking, when are you planning to do this? Ideally, when would you like to be moving into to that new house. And I say that for a number of reasons. Yes, we do have some resale properties, believe it or not. Yes, we have what we call spec homes already under construction that would be a lot faster to move into. And we have new construction homes that are going to take a while to be completed. Most of the builders now, we're in 2024, so most of the builders are back to nine to 10 months in the building process. Some are still very slow, 12 to 14 months. And if you get into something that is what I call semi-custom homes, you might be looking at 18 months. So it's very important for me as your agent, and you to know when do you want to actually be moving into this house and the time frame for all of those things. If it's a resale, you can close in two weeks. Some people will wait 60 to 90 days. Some people are building something else and they're willing to lease their house back. So those are all things to consider. Financing. Are you going to finance? Do you know the advantages of financing if you're building a home? Um, are you going to use cash? That's about 60% of our market in all price categories is cash because a lot of people have sold another property or pulled out money that they've invested over the years. And they're like, oh, I'm done with mortgage payments. I don't want them anymore paying cash. Well, if you're working with a builder, would it make sense? They're offering you $25,000 worth of incentives to work with their lender. Is it worth going through the process to get a mortgage, to use their money for all of your closing costs and possibly some upgrades on the home? And you can pay it off with no penalty at any time. A week after you close on that property, you could pay that mortgage off and there's no prepayment penalty. Just a thought, just something to think about maybe doing 50% cash and 50% mortgage. And of course it's depending on where the interest rates are. Um, but if you can pay it off after a week, a month, six months, 
we're about 6.45 right now on interest rates. My first house, by the way, I bought in 94, 9.25. Didn't think a thing about it. My parents had a mortgage at 18%. Yes. And I remember when they sold that house, moved to another house, it was still at 13%. So historically, we're still low. We're not at crazy low rates, but we are six and a quarter, six and a half is still pretty historically low for mortgage rates. I have a lot of people saying they're going to time the market. You know, they're going to wait for prices to fall. Well, guess what? We live in paradise and our demand with the 10,000 baby boomers a day retiring is huge. So as interest rates come down, what happens? Demand spikes way high. So let's say our interest rates drop to 5%. How many more people would that put back into the market? And when the demand increases, what happens with prices? They go back up. So timing the market, just listen to what I just said. Pretty, pretty difficult to do. So anyway, there we are. So how much, when, where? We are not going to be where you came from. We are a coastal beach town, okay? Um, I've had people come here from North Carolina. We don't have mountains. We don't have these amazing mountain scene wooded areas. We're not upstate New York. Yeah, we don't have six months of snow and we don't have all that wooded area, all that stuff or Michigan with, what is it? 10,000 lakes and all that. We don't have that. We have the beach. We have super friendly people. We have lots of opportunity to live here in paradise. So. Again, setting your expectations. If you're looking at areas of Lakewood Ranch, Parish, Venice, Welland Park, you have to remember one of the comments was we're building on swampland. No, we're not. We're building on farmland. If it is a wet protected area, we cannot put houses on it like the Del Webb Bayview and Parish. Throughout the community, there's wetlands that are absolutely forbidden to go near, build near, you can build behind it, but you can't build anything close to being on it. So these areas were farmland. They're, they're not going to have this huge, mature landscaping. That takes about five to seven years for that to happen. If we go into the Del Webb of Lakewood Ranch, the front section, the first third of that there's 1,200 homes, you'll see the mature landscaping because it's about eight years old now. So it happens, but don't expect to come here and see this lush, you know, oak trees and everything in these new construction communities. It'll happen, but it's going to take a bit. We do have those areas where I live. It's called Palm Air. Beautifully landscaped, beautiful trees. But this area was started in 1982, I believe. My house, I always tell everybody, my house was built in 83. So larger lots, old school homes. We have the living room. We have the family room. We have a dining area. So old school. It's not the new construction, great room. Everything's in one room. So it's very different. So set your expectations for that. What your thinking you're going to want. These master plan communities, all of them, it's not a zero lot line, but if you're on a regular lot, there's going to be about 12 to 15 feet between houses. Yes, I said that right. 12 to 15 feet between houses. Okay. So you're not going to have like a half acre lot building in these master plan communities. Once again, we have those type of communities. We have University Park Country Club, which is right next to Palm Air, where I live. You play on that golf course and it looks like you're in North Carolina. Absolutely beautiful. But the homes are built in 
say the late nineties into the early two thousands. So they're a little older, absolutely beautiful, still built the old school way country club community. So yes, we have those type of things. You go to West Bradenton heading out towards the beaches. There's some beautiful communities over there with very mature landscaping, but you can't come here and say, Hey, John, I've got a budget of um, 600,000 and we're looking for something that has a view of a golf course in a golfing community. Right now we've got a lake behind our house and then the golf course is on the other side. Oh, really? When was that built? Oh, 1975. Right. So <laughs> if you're looking at new construction, contemporary prices, contemporary prices of material and labor and all those things. You got to be realistic about what it actually is that you're looking for. Um, this area, everybody that comes here to visit and we go on a tour, they're stunned by the lack of traffic driving through Lakewood Ranch. All they hear is how bad the traffic is, how bad the traffic is. Well, between 8.30 and probably 10 o'clock on the interstate, I-75, pretty bad, pretty awful, especially heading to the south. People are coming in from the parish area. And then in the afternoons, between 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock, everybody's heading north, and it's stupid congested, and there'll be no reason for it. There's a um, mall in Ellington. It used to be the outlet mall, but now it's just, I don't know what they call it, but they're building new bridges there. And you'll see once you get over that bridge, there's no traffic, but it'll be backed up for 10 miles. A lot of that has to do with slow birds coming here. You have to remember your area. I don't care where you live other than Florida. You don't have slow bird season. You don't have an influx of 25% of your population pouring into town. They have nowhere to go, nothing to do, and they've got all day to get there, right? So don't compare it because you don't have that. You don't have people pouring into Minnesota for some kind of season. You don't have it. Or Jersey or New York. You don't have it. We have a 25% increase in our population. So yes, the restaurants are crowded. The grocery stores are crowded. The roads are crowded. This used to be a sleepy little beachy town. They're doing everything they can to keep up with things, but it's impossible to handle the amount of traffic that we're getting, not even talking about the people that have already moved here. So you got to take some of these things into consideration and talk to somebody who lives here. I was out yesterday with people they couldn't believe the lack of traffic in driving through Lakewood Ranch. And I kept telling them, this is the middle of the season. Now you get over by the UTC mall and it's stupid, really bad, but it's not like you're sitting there for hours. You're sitting there for a couple of traffic lights to get to turn into the mall. So do your research on it and know what your expectations are. It helps me tremendously. If you're working with me, I want to know these things. I'm going to ask you these things. When do you want to be here? When do you want me handing you the keys to that house? Is it cash? Are you considering financing? If you're financing, have you talked to a mortgage person yet? If not, I have people here in Florida that I highly recommend that you talk to a Florida mortgage person not somebody with Wells Fargo who is in Los Angeles. You know, it just, it doesn't make sense. Same thing with insurance, you know, use a Florida insurance person. I can refer you to two or three mortgage people, two or three insurance people to talk to and get quotes and know what to expect. But you got to know these things. I got to know these things. Okay. So cash or mortgage, when do you want to be here? If you're thinking three to five years down the road, I'm going to meet you at the information center, get you some information, register you there, get you passes to go into the communities where they're still building and you can go look all, all you want. 
And then when you need me, I'm here. If this is, hey, John, we're ready. Our house is on the market now. We're ready to buy. By golly, we're going to get out and we're going to get real serious and we're going to look at homes that meet your criteria. Not meet my criteria, meet what you want. How much money do you want to spend? How big or small of a house do you want? What do you want it to look at? What kind of amenities do you want? Those are all important things. I just don't want you to get in my car and go, okay, show us some houses. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to look at here, a lot. So um, anyway, that was a bit of a rant on my part, but it will help you set your expectations and let the person you're working with know that. Hey, John, we're, we're two years out before we retire. We're five years out before we retire. We're six months away and we need a house. Okay, so just good information to help you make a wise decision on your time frame. I had people I was working with three, four weeks ago, they had already sold their house. They were in Pensacola and thought that that was going to be where they were going to stay retired there. Nope. After storms going into that area, after um, <clears throat> spring break season a couple of times, they decided to come down this way. It took us two weeks, found them a house. And three weeks after that, they closed on the house. So, you know, we can do it, but I got to know those things. What's important to you? When do you want it to happen? How are you going to pay for it? Hope that helps. Anyway, as I said, if you like information about this area, I put it out there all the time on YouTube. So you can call me, text me, email me. We can schedule a time to do a Zoom call. Um, I try to answer all the questions. Um, that are legit questions. I don't need you to tell me that you don't have summer in New York or that um, the weather in Minnesota is amazing all the time. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah. So if you have a real legit question and you're thinking about moving here, I'd love to help you out. So call me, email me, text me, whatever works for you. God bless you. And I hope to hear from you very, very soon.